Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Simply Finance. I'm your host, Shane White. And today is Monday, June 8th, 2020. Um, it's been another crazy start to the trading week here in the United States um, in all the major market indexes. Um, just to kickstart today, uh, the Dow was up 1.7%, the S&P up one2 the NASDAQ up 1.13%, and the Shane Index, which we're going to talk about a little bit more in depth today, um, was up a little over 4%, uh, which was a, a huge day for me. And honestly, if anyone else is following along and using any of the investment tools uh, that I use, it was, a, it was a great day for us. So um, before we jump in, Today, really what we're going to be talking about is um, something called partial shares. I've hit on this before. Um, it's a tool that I recently unlocked, and it's a new tool on uh, Robinhood, which is the trading platform that I use. And what it can do is really it can allow you to better diversify your portfolio quicker. And I'm just going to jump right in. So basically, the way this works is if you think about the way we, in, you know, normally you'd invest today on most platforms is a stock has a price and the price is changing constantly as the market is open and available to be traded when you want to buy a share. So today I will, you know, I'll pull up Tesla as an example. Tesla right now is trading at its, by the way, all-time high of $951.10. Today it closed the highest price it's ever closed at. Um, if you wanted to buy one share, and on most platforms, or if you're a new investor, you know, you, you have to buy shares individually, right? Or you can buy them together, but you have to buy a full share. So if you want to own one share of Tesla stock, you need to pay nine hundred and fifty one dollars and ten cents um and on the flip side if you were to buy something like let me think of something that's a little bit cheaper let's go with um what's chipotle trade net today let's go with um no really bad example i'm gonna look at disney so disney today is trading at 127.15 so just two examples of stocks at different prices, but to own one share, those are the differences in the price you'll pay per share, right? So partial shares is a really powerful tool that uh, the platform that I love to use, uh, it's free. I have a link to it in the show notes that will allow you to get a free stock if you use the link and sign up. Um, they allow you to use something called partial shares. Now, if you go into your settings, I believe, I'm looking at it right now on my phone. Uh, yeah, if you go into your account and go into settings, there is an option. You have to wait in a waiting list today um, to get partial shares, to get the ability to trade partial shares. Um, but once you do, what that means is instead of you going into your Robinhood account or whatever platform you use and having to pay that you know, Tesla example, instead of having to pay $951, uh, in order to buy one share of Tesla, let's just say you have five bucks left in your brokerage account and you want to throw $5 at Tesla. Well, in the past, you would have had to wait until you can get enough money in your account, you know, moving cash over from your checking account uh, to get to a point where you have, you know, $951 or whatever price the stock is trading at at that point. Um, in order to buy another share. With partial shares, the powerful thing is you can actually throw $5 at Tesla and it'll just do the math for you automatically and give you partial shares. Instead of you getting one share for $5, you might get, you know, really rough math right now, 0 0.00135 shares, for example. Um, and so what that allows you to do is instead of putting money in the account and holding it as cash, really you're not, you're not, you're losing a lot of earning potential by not investing all that right away. So instead of sitting there and having to build up your account to a point where uh, you're, you have enough to buy a full share of the companies you want to invest in, you can just keep putting money in. And really, if that, that's really all it is. That's partial shares. It's a pretty simple concept. 
But I think a way that I wanted to kind of explain it a little better is what I actually did on Friday. So um, as I've talked about in here a lot, I did take some money out and kept it in cash when the coronavirus, you know, really was at its heyday and the markets were coming down. In hindsight, that was not a great move at all on my part, but, you know, great lesson learned for me, uh, especially during my, you know, along the road of my investment career and journey. It was a great thing for me to learn and see. So uh, what I did on Friday is if you've been following along at all and you've taken a look at the, the coronavirus, it's called COVID-19 rebound tracker now uh, in the show notes. It's a list of stocks that I have been following closely during this whole thing. And they're stocks that I think are great investments over the long-term horizon. So one thing that I don't talk a lot about on here is like my general strategy for investing, but overall, like I'm not that I'm knocking it in any way, but I, I don't have the time, the resources, or honestly enough knowledge at this point to feel like I can make a lot of trades uh, daily to be like a true day trader. But w what a lot of the strategies that you'll hear me talk about on here ar around this time frame are really going to be thinking about companies over the next few years uh, and then even maybe longer companies that I want to hold on to for depending on on um, you know me and my wife's financial situation a very long time and they could be and a lot of them are going to be also companies that pay dividends that will start to become a passive income for us um, as those shares continue to grow and the dividend payments continue to grow too to become another um, resource and revenue source for us so what I did is I took uh, a chunk of money and put it back in. For fun numbers today, I'm just going to use, let's just say a, a close to it, let's, let's just use $1,000 as what I invested on Friday. So in theory, if I wanted to, you know, if I took $1,000, put it in my Robinhood account and wanted to start investing those funds, um, you will see quickly that the companies that I was interested in uh, that wouldn't have made me very wouldn't have made my investments go very far. And what I mean by that is, Tesla's in there, um, Apple's in there, Google's in there, Amazon's in there, and a, and a lot of other ones that I'll walk through here shortly. I would have only been able to buy you know one share of Tesla and maybe a few shares. Of actually, I couldn't have bought any of the other shares I just mentioned with a share of Tesla for a thousand dollars. So what I would have either had to do is a buy one share of Tesla and then take the other few hundred dollars and break them into other stocks that maybe I'm not as confident in, maybe I'm not as excited about. Um, and but I would have wanted to invest it into something versus just keeping it in cash in my account. Unless my strategy was to just keep cash and build cash until I get enough in there. Uh, to invest it in, uh, you know, into those more expensive stocks that I wanted to do. Instead, uh, I took a little bit different approach, and I got to use partial shares, and that's what you know this whole episode is about. And so, what I was able to do was essentially take, you know, in this example, that same thousand dollars we just talked about, and I actually split it across forty-two stocks, which is, to me, that's that's where the the key to this is huge, and it unlocks so much of earning potential. Um, what that allows you to do is diversify at scale, right? So if you're buying full shares, the other downside is, you know, we always want to think about diversifying. It's what I talk about all the time on here. It's what Warren Buffett talks about all the time. You can't diversify very well if you have $1,000 and, you know, you want stocks that are close to $1,000. It's going to take you a lot of time to actually get a diversified excuse me, portfolio. With partial shares... Technically, what I just got to do on Friday was take, I, you know, in this example, I'm saying it's $1,000. I could have taken $10 or $100 or a million dollars and diversified it from the start, which is powerful. Okay. So I'm going to walk you through. Um, so this is, you know, I've been telling you guys, um, you know, when I talk about the performance of the different market indexes, one of those is I'm calling the Shane index. And that's just what I'm investing in just to kind of give you guys a little bit of a perspective. And honestly, it holds me accountable to know if I'm overperforming or underperforming to the market and helps me pivot and adjust um, and make better investment decisions going forward. So um, I will walk you through quickly. I'm going to name a ton of stocks and by all means, 
take all of these with a grain of salt, do your own research. If anything, just take these companies and do your own research, right? And, and see if they're companies you feel confident in, if you feel comfortable in, or if they're things you want to do. Um, so here we go. It's a long list. Like I said, it's 42 stocks I invested in on Friday. And what I did before I jump into the names is I listed, I've been following and they've been in the rebound tracker. You know, these are all companies that have been in the rebound tracker that I've been sharing with you guys for a couple months now. I listed all the companies out. I put the amount of money I was investing on Friday. And in this example, let's just say that was a thousand dollars. And I basically on the right made a column in Google Sheets and I just called it portfolio weight. So what I did was I went through and literally, you know, across 42 stocks, the weights are really small. So they're really between one and I think the highest was 6% of my whole portfolio. So I just went down the list, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, whatever it may be. I had like my own ranking system I came up with to, you know, decide how much of weight I wanted to put into certain areas of the market. And then just ran a, a formula off of that. You know, I took the total of a thousand times each of those percents, and that's how much money I was able to put towards that stock. Then I just went one by one, took a little while on Friday morning. Luckily I had the day off and it was a productive Friday morning. I went in and literally just bought, you know, $10 and 74 cents of this and, uh, you know, 1599 of that and just went down the list. And so by the end of it, I had 42 stocks across, again, using this example of $1,000, and I had a completely diversified portfolio. Now, you can always get more diversity, and you can diversify it more. Uh, it's, you know, that's a never-ending game you can play, right? You can always add risky, safe companies across all different sectors to get better diversification, but it was an awesome way to do that. Um, and so I'll walk you through the companies I invested in. And then um, I would, that's really going to be it today. So I really want, I want to explain what those were. And I'll talk to you guys in a minute about the companies I invested in to diversify myself in one move. Um, I would suggest two things. One, go to Robinhood right after or right now while you're listening to this. Go in and just reserve your spot under your settings for partial shares. There is a wait list. I was lucky and, and, you know, signed up to be on the wait list immediately when the day of they sent this out as a new feature. And um, lucky enough, got approved pretty quick. So I've had them and it might take a little while. So number one, go do that. And then number two, um, go to the COVID-19 rebound tracker in the show notes and just take a look. Uh, you can look at a lot of the companies that I'm talking about, all the companies I'm talking about, in fact, and um, you will, you'll see that. So I'm just going to rattle these off. All right. On Friday, we added Tilray, Amazon. Starbucks, American Airlines, United Airlines, Moderna, Ford, Tesla, United Airlines, Penn National Gambling, Delta Airlines, Southwest Airlines, Marathon Petroleum, DraftKings, United States Oil Fund, Shell, TJ Maxx, Anheuser-Busch, Apple, Constellation Brands, Disney, Duncan, Eli Lilly, Facebook, Google, Home Depot, Hormel, Kellogg, Kraft, MasterCard, Molson Coors, Netflix, Netflix, excuse me, Nicola, PayPal, Philip 66, Procter & Gamble, Shopify, Slack, Snapchat, Spotify, Visa, and Zoom. If I was to add all of those up, and let's just say I bought one share of every single one of those stocks on Friday, that would have cost me $9,669 to purchase. So what this just did was I was able to put in this, you know, fake example of $1,000, I didn't get full shares. So remember when this, these stocks go up and when they go down, I'm not going to feel the benefit or the, the pain, I guess I would have, right, if I'd owned full shares, but I got partial shares of all those companies I just mentioned. And I did that for in this example, $1,000 instead of $10,000, which is what each of those companies at the price point today for one share would have cost me. So that's the power. Instead of needing $10,000 to be diversified, I did it with 1,000. And over time, you know, I'm not gonna tell you guys um, the right or wrong way to do this, but I believe the Warren Buffett, you know, saying that I talk about a lot in here, which is, you know, time in the market is more important than timing the market. So, you know, I have a kind of a strategy that me and Kelly use where, you know, I put money into our account every couple of weeks. It's like 
twice a month we were putting money in. Sometimes I do it once a week. Um, that way there's just constant money going into our portfolio. And now with partial shares, instead of having to wait and buy the company I want to with a full share, I'm just putting that, I'm just basically spreading that money out, buying as many companies as I want and splitting that up and making sure my portfolio is constantly getting more and more diversified. So uh, that's huge. That's the list. Uh, definitely go take a look. Well, I wanted to kind of share one little win. To be honest, total luck. I'm holding on to this company for the long haul because I think it's one of those companies like Tesla that's going to change the automotive industry. And I want to be invested in it at the ground floor. Um, a good friend and the first person I ever, I, I ever interviewed on the podcast, Andrew Malott, um, sent a company called Nikola my way. And Nikola is a company that we just talked about actually on the last episode um, where we talked about reverse mergers. And today that stock popped 150%. Now, if I would have bought one full share, right? And let's use this example of partial shares to give everyone perspective. If I would have been lucky and out of my you know, $1,000, if I would have purchased one full share, who knows if I would have actually gotten lucky or not, right? Could have purchased one share. I would have had a crazy day today and I would have, you know, more than, I would have almost, I would have more than doubled my investment in essentially one day of trading. Now, I bought partial shares because I split it, right? I split my investment across all these different companies. So today I didn't feel the gain I would have if I owned a full share. But I did see a huge gain today in my portfolio because of not just Nikola. Nikola was a huge driver, but a lot of the companies that I invested on Friday had big days today. So my whole point in saying that is, yes, if you're trying to do day trading or you're trying to do like short term over a week or a few months trading, partial shares might not move the needle for you the way they would if you bought partial shares and you like hit those jackpots, right? But what partial shares can do over the long term, if you just do the math, the more and more money you're putting in, you're, if you're in the right companies, and not necessarily right, it's a really poor term to use, but if you're in a, in a well-diversified set of companies across your portfolio, you're going to see your portfolio, as long as the markets are doing okay, right? Like COVID is a good example of where we see a lot of that collapse, but you're going to see growth because you're going to have, you know, my goal is to have a lot more different companies in my our portfolio. Right now, having like these 42 new ones, I had a great day today, but it's not because of necessarily one stock. It's because we had a lot of winners. We did have some losers today. We always will. And, but overall, I've diversified enough that over the long term, we're going to see growth and we're going to see um, an increase in our overall portfolio value. And I guarantee you by just putting money in constantly, 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 even if it's small amounts and spreading it out and keeping that diversification alive, you're going to see more growth. And at the end of the day, you're honestly going to be able to, you're going to be able to invest in more companies sooner than you ever could with full shares. So that's it for today. I would definitely, like I said, sign up for partial shares, get on that waiting list on Robinhood. I'll, I'll share the link um, to Robinhood again. And then to definitely check out the COVID-19 rebound tracker. Um, as it evolves, I'll have to just keep changing the name of it because eventually COVID-19 and that won't be the, the story of what's going on right now, but it still is. So that's the name of that. That'll give you a list of all the companies I just talked about. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy. I hope that was helpful today. Hope for any of you that didn't know what partial shares were, I hope you learned something. And honestly, I hope it helps because this, a lot of my friends that talk about investing, um, this is one of the bigger, I would say, game changers that Robinhood has delivered to the platform that I think is going to help so many people just get started, right? Again, this is another one of those things. If you're someone who's new and honestly doesn't feel like they know enough about investing to invest, you can with Robinhood. It's free to sign up. There's no commission fees. You can literally put a dollar into Robinhood today and buy as many stocks as you want with partial shares, right? You can put you could literally just put that dollar across as, as many shares as you can if you wanted to. And that's how you get started. You start with a dollar today, $10 today, $100 today, whatever it is that you have to put in and you learn and you keep going. So thanks again for listening, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Tune in tomorrow on uh, my socials. I should have it up um, at some point tomorrow night. 
but tomorrow morning I have a interview with um, a good friend of mine that I think will add a ton of value. So keep an eye out for the next guest. Thanks again for listening, guys. I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much.